So the comic starts off, you've got Batman, Bruce Wayne, not mm-hmm. Batman yet. Sure. And Jim Gordon. And the reason I have them like this is because Batman's arriving by plane and Gordon's arriving by train. Hmm. Okay. No automobiles were involved. You got me before I asked. Yeah. Plane trains. And automobiles. No automobiles. Where's that from? It's a movie. Cool. So so Batman is arriving by plane. We just lost viewership because you don't know that movie. I don't know what that movie is. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. It's a movie. Batman's thinking to himself as he's arriving by plane. Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne. Thank you. Yeah. I saw you start to point. Um, He's thinking to himself as he's arriving by plane. I should have arrived by train. From up here, the city looks civilized. Concrete structures, beautiful buildings, blah, blah, blah. More I disconnect sh- than he wants. Exactly. He, he even says to himself, he goes, I should be down there with the enemy. Mm. You know? Which is funny because Gordon is arriving by, by train and he's like, I wish I took a plane. It's it, down here. It's disgusting. He, there's a pregnancy scare with his wife and he's like, I hope she's not pregnant. Not? Not pregnant because he doesn't want to raise a kid in this cesspool. Uh, and he's a straight sense. and narrow cop and he's just like, this is this is messed up. Yeah. Right? Yeah. As to quote you from last video that I love, this is baloney sandwich. <laughs> okay. Um. So it's this great dichotomy between the two of them. You have Batman who's who's up in the sky, down looking on Gotham, and his boots on the ground, Gordon, right? And, uh, you know, he's just like, and Gordon thinks to himself, Barbara, his wife, is 100% coming by plane. You know, there's just no way. Yeah. So, Safer. Yeah. So you kind of just see the both of them arriving at the exact same time. And uh, Gordon... Uh, you know, walks off the train and there's this kind of like guy and he's like a peddler, I guess. He's got, he's got this book and he's like, Hey, buy this nice book. Very cheap, beautiful, very nice, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, no, thank you. And he keeps trying, you know, to sell him this, this book. I don't know what the book is, but, uh, this big kind of like brute jock, I guess, you know, Mm -hmm. picks up the guy and he's like, scram skinhead. I think is what he says. Scram because the guy's bald scram skinhead. Um, and he goes, Hey, I'm detective Flass. I'm your new partner. All right. And he puts what his an introduction. Arm, yeah. He's, he's a, he's a piece of work this guy. Sure. He puts his arm kind of around, around Gordon. And he's like, don't worry. Cops got it made in Gotham. Right. So just hints at the corruption are already there. He's sure. Like, You're going to do well. Immediate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. We go to uh, Bruce Wayne who lands Big charming smile. He's got the press there. They're taking photos. Are the rumors about you and this model true? And he's like, you know, he's just like, it's, it's the red carpet for him. Yeah, yeah. He's just like, oh, blah, blah, blah. world premiere of his new movie, Stone Face. Second, he's gone. Just like, cool. It's Camera's no act. longer on him. It's all an act. Got it. You gotta, you gotta not be uh, the crime fighter when you're Bruce Wayne. Sure, sure. Yeah. Um, so he goes, he, uh, gets in his car. He starts driving towards Wayne Manor. You Is know? he being driven or he, he's driving? He's driving. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's driving to Wayne Manor and Gordon is with Flass in his car. Yeah. And they're driving. He's like, you're going to love this city. You know, we're, we're doing, oh, wait one second. And he like pulls up, boom, <laughs> stops, gets out of the car. There's these teenagers that are like hanging around on this, you know, corner. Sure. This corner street. Some kids. Yeah. And uh, he's like, hey, does your mother know you're out? And the kids look at Flass and he's like, oh, crap. And Flass just starts beating the crap. Why? Out of one of these kids. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. Puts them, puts them in a dumpster. Blah, blah, blah. Gordon's in the car. In a dumpster? Yeah. Just, Jesus, just beating what a the jerk. crap out of him. The ever living bejesus. And Gordon is sitting in the car and he's like, I just watch. I don't do anything. I don't. He's like, you know, I'm just watching. He's got green beret training. He makes that note. And he goes, I learn for future reference. He's watching this guy's fighting style. That's smart. Don't bust out now. Don't create a scene. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, if I need to take this guy out, I'm going to watch. Love that. Yeah. Flask gets back into the car and Gordon's like, what the hell, man? So he says something. Yeah, he does. He's not like silent about it. You know, he's Gordon. And Flask goes, he had this. And it's a it's a switchblade comb. Oh, so he thinks it's a switchblade. Nope. He wanted the switchblade comb. So he, <laughs> he beat up the kid and robbed him. 
What a jerk. To, to, to do it. To take it. What a jerk. This is mine now. Let me see your phone real quick. Sweet. Now I got two phones. Oh, okay. Flask for the win or flask. Sorry. Well, we've got food coming. Don't you want that? Don't you want me to tell you? The It'll vibrate against my back. Okay. Yeah. It's my phone now. Um, okay. Um, we go back to Bruce Wayne, right? He arrives at the manor and he's like, hello, mother. Hello, father. They're dead though. No, he's yeah. I mean, Batman's origin story. But yeah, yeah. He's just like, you know, talking to him. Sure. You know, sure. Just like catharsis to some degree. Yeah. Right? Just yeah. like, you know, it's good to be back home. He's sure. Been gone for 12 years. Okay. That would put Batman at like what age about just to give an idea of like how old he should be. You know, the continuity is weird. Um, my guess is his parents were shot when he was maybe eight, maybe 13. Somewhere he's been in there, yeah. Gone for 12 years, but they were killed 16 years ago. So he's somewhere between 24 and 31. Okay, sure. Yeah. You know, maybe 29. I don't know. Continuity's weird because Frank Miller, this is Frank Miller's Batman. In Frank Miller's Batman, we've got The Dark Knight, which he retires at like 50 or 55. I think it's 50 because he's 60 when he comes back. And then that means that he's spent this long as Batman, but Barbara. Gordon Jr., who hasn't been born yet, is around, and she's maybe like 23. Dude, there's a lot. Hey, so I just asked how old Batman was, man. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere between 20. It's it's funny because you asked that, and like yesterday, I'm just going, how old is Batman? That's funny. How does the time work here? Sure. DC continuity is so weird. Listen, just comic just, book continuity. I just want to think about how old he looks in my head. Middle 20s. Okay, cool. Mid, Still young looking. Mid 20s. Young looking fresh. Cool. I like that. Anyway. Yeah. So. Uh, I feel like superheroes always feel kind of a bit older. Yeah. Like 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 established, you know, 35 maybe or something like that. 30, 30. But like the idea of a younger one, I like it for beginning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, we cut back to Gordon. Gordon is meeting with police commissioner Loeb. Mm-hmm. Right. And Loeb is basically like looking through his files like you got a great file. This is great, Gordon. I'm, I'm so excited to have you on board with us. And, uh, you know, Gordon's like, well, I've, I've made some mistakes. That's for sure. But I'm a good I'm a hard worker. And, you know, I'm, and he goes humble. Yeah. And he goes, y- yeah, m- mistakes. What are you talking about? N- none of this ever went to the press. So you didn't make any mistakes as far as I'm concerned. You get the idea sure. that police commissioner Loeb only cares about whether or not the press found out about something. Sure, sure. Because that means the people found out. Whether this chat. chit chat. Yeah. Um, one thing I did forget to mention, you do hear a news broadcast right before Gordon walks in, the charges... Uh, against or the investigation, the conspiracy investigation against police commissioner Loeb has been dropped because a key witness has gone missing. Oh, of course. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just great. like corruption. Yes. Corrupt. So anyway, uh, you know, you get the idea from Loeb talking to Gordon. He's basically just like, you're going to be a team player, right? You know, mm. we'll the seat already. team. Yeah. You know, he's like basically just like he thinks he's gonna get someone he got a good recruit, guy who keeps things out of the press, you know, keeps things on the hush hush. Sure. And uh and he's got another member of the team. Sure. He doesn't think of it being like a boy scout or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. And Gordon is just like doesn't like it. Doesn't like it. Wants to smoke. This guy's chewing uh Tobacco? No, uh drops, uh, uh whatever. Chewing on uh, menthol or whatever. Sure. Yeah. Eucalyptus. Oh. Uh, drops. Cough drop. I don't know. Whatever. So, I guess it's irrelevant. I, whatever. So You're good. I still love you. All right. Cool. So, now we go to one month later. You know that thing where you go to the theater and um, you eat all the candy before the movie starts? Yeah. Yeah. I drink all my water before we can get through this and I'm just pretending to sip. Just put the cup down. Oh, okay. It's one month later, and uh, what you see is uh, <clears throat> you got Flass and, and Gordon. They're driving. Okay. Okay. Um, Police car? Yeah. Just, uh, it's a detective. They're detectives. So, so, oh, so they don't have to drive one of those, yeah. right? That's a thing? Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, they don't get a free car. They don't get one of them free cars. Yeah, yeah, out. Sure. Whatever they do. I don't know the intricacies of police work. I don't know how it works. Comment below if you know. Yes. Um, so anyway, they're driving uh, this car and, and Flass is like, you know, Gordon, the guys are talking, you know, and they just want to make sure you're part of the team. You know, it would be horrible if something bad happened, you know, to you and, and Barbara because they didn't think that you were part of the team. And they want you want them to be able on be on your side. So you should reassure them. It's all veiled threats. That's a threat, though. man. Yeah. Talk about a man's wife. That's a big yes, deal. But it's all veiled. Right. And Jim's sure. just like this guy. Right. Yeah. It's just like, Ugh. um. And so you get the idea, just more corruption, right? More corruption, yeah. pile it on. So we cut to Batman, right? And he's training, he's punching, he's throwing kicks, he's, he's breaking bricks with his punches, and he kicks a tree in half. No, a tree in half? A tree. A, it's a tree. I think it's dead, to be fair, but it is a tree All that right. is standing, not a log, and it's in half. All right. I wouldn't want to be kicked by him. And yeah, I, that's the shtick, right? Yeah. That's his old shtick. Yeah, for Justice. sure. Kicks. Um, <laughs> Justice kick. Boom. Uh, anyway, so he's doing, he's throwing kicks and stuff like that. And he's thinking to himself, like, I'm not ready. You know, I was, I'm, I'm doing, it. I, I, I went, I hesitated in my mind. Should I do the Batman voice? Should I not do that? I'm doing the Batman sure, voice. Sure, man. I'm right? play. I'm, I'm game. I'm not ready. You know, I have the means. I have the skill, but I'm missing the method. Right. Yeah. And he's just thinking to himself and he's like, well, no, actually, technically I've tons of methods, but I'm missing <laughs> something. <laughs> right. That's not me making a mistake. That's like what it says. Yeah. And he goes, I have to wait. I have to wait. And he's just fighting and training harder while he's doing that. You get the idea. They don't really communicate this in the uh, uh, cartoon, in the in the movie, um, the animated movie. But you get the idea. There is a desperation in his, uh, it, it, like, he needs to be out there. Oh. And he needs to put fear. Yeah, it's know. like a sense of duty. Like, yeah, he feels he like he, to, if he's not doing that, it's bad. Our, oh, hey, honey. Our, uh, our food's here. I'm aware. Yeah, quick uh, yeah. quick food break. Yeah, let's yeah, do it. Sorry. Lunch! How's yours? It's good. Good. Sausage, toilet paper, paper towels, plastic cups, berries, veggies, chicken thighs, ground beef, lemons, celery, snack cheeses, half and half, heavy cream, mayo, quick keto stuff, keto waffles, keto breakfast sammies, rebel cookie dough ice cream, those rebel ice cream sandwiches I keep hearing about if I can track them down, yogurts, mozzarella cheese, butter. Am I missing anything? <laughs>